Welcome, dear friends and colleagues. My name is Martin Belov, and I am professor in constitutional and comparative constitutional law at the University of Sofia St. Clement Ochritsky Faculty of Law. I teach also comparative constitutional law in various European universities. I have been invited to make this book presentation by Diriti Comparati, uh, Staus, and especially by Professor Giuseppe Martinico. And I would like to express my deep gratitude to these institutions and particularly to Professor Martinico for this very good opportunity to, uh, opportunity to present my book, which has recently been published by Hart Publishing Oxford. And the name of the book is The IT Revolution and its Impact on State Constitutionalism and Public Law. So this is the book again published by Hart Publishing. And I would like to thank also Hart for trusting me that I can produce a decent edited volume uh, so uh, this is a gratitude expressed also by my co colleagues who are contributors to that volume. Having said that, uh, I would like to tell you why this book might be interesting and useful for you. First of all, uh, the book, The IT Revolution and its Impact on State, Constitutionalism and Public Law, includes the contributions of uh, leading scholars from uh, various European universities, uh, which uh, are united by the common task to discuss the uh, challenges, but also the opportunities that the information technology revolution gives us in this rather troubling age. And um, the importance of the topic <clears throat> is clearly demonstrated by the mushrooming of literature in algorithmic, digital and IT constitutionalism. So you might wonder why uh, this book might be uh, useful for you. What makes it different? Uh, and uh, as a matter of fact, the book uh, has several uh, strengths and advantages, in my uh, humble opinion, as an editor. First of all, it covers a wide range of issues centered around constitutionalism and constitutional law, but also including various aspects uh, of uh, the impact of the IT revolution on uh, public financial uh, and tax law, on uh, health law, on data protection. Um, on uh, e-administration, e-justice, and so on and so forth. So the book offers you a, a wide range of issues centered around the impact of the IT revolution on uh, the fundamental uh, uh, constitutional design, on constitutional axiology, but also on sector-specific policies. Uh, having said that, uh, I have to uh, tell you that the book starts with conceptual problems, with problematization of the main challenges to the fundamental paradigms of constitutional law. For example, my chapter discusses the uh, challenges to humanism as one of the uh, fundamental normative ideologies of modern constitutionalism uh, in the context of the algorithmic society. So here I'm discussing issues of transhumanism, posthumanism, and their impact on humanism as supportive ideology. Uh, this assessment is critical, multidiscursive, based on philosophical, comparative, and theoretical analysis. Moreover, there are some chapters which try to uh, give a glimpse on the structural challenges of the information technology revolution, uh, on the possibility of creation of a reasonable global response to the challenges of the IT revolution, um, and, of course, on several on uh, topical issues which emerged in the last couple of years. Uh, there is a separate chapter devoted to the uh, challenges of um, the IT revolution on uh, the new media platforms, data protection, filter bubbles, micro-targeting, hot issues that have been widely discussed uh, in the recent uh, years. Uh, there is a special chapter devoted to cryptocurrencies and cyber currencies, to uh, taxation in a globalized uh, but also algorithmic world. Uh, there is a chapter devoted to uh, human rights protection, gene editing, health rights, uh, and uh, the way they are impacted by the IT revolution. So you can see that this is a kind of intellectual dialogue between authors coming from different backgrounds, from different jurisdictions, but also from different spheres of knowledge, constitutional, administrative, financial, tax law, comparative law, um, and uh, I, I hope that the book can give you an overview of the most topical issues of the IT revolution. And uh, I'm uh, very much uh, 
I strongly believe that uh, the IT revolution is uh, uh, promoting what is also called digital transformation, and digital transformation is profoundly challenging the fundamentals of our constitutional civilization. The same way as the Industrial Revolution has promoted and actually created the objective preconditions for the emergence of uh, constitutional modernity, of the modern constitutional civilization, and this process is uh, again uh, uh, experienced by all societies in our uh, strongly interconnected globalized world uh, in the course of this new wave of technological advancement, which creates huge opportunities, which creates also huge challenges to fundamental concepts on which our constitutional orders rests. Concepts such as public-private divide, public sphere, the way democracy functions, uh, humanism, the very concept of personality and subjectivity, uh, the, the grounds for equality, for example, imagine what are the challenges to equality stemming from the new uh, chances, nanomedicine, telemedicine, uh, Internet of Things uh, gives uh, and creates as both opportunities and issues. So I hope uh, that the, my, my edited volume will be a modest but, but uh, also a practical contribution to uh, the debate on algorithmic and digital constitutionalism. Again, uh, I will be very glad if you take a look at the book, The IT Revolution and its Impact on State, Constitutionalism and Public Law, published by Hart Publishing Oxford in 2021. Thank you very much.